guys! Today's video is about things that make a good guinea pig cage. Size. The size of your guinea pig cage is important. Most cages sold in pet stores are way too small for one guinea pig, let alone two guinea pigs. Guinea pigs need space to run around, even if you provide floor time. If they need to run around at 5 a.m. while everyone's asleep and no one's awake to let them out, they should still be able to do so. 0.5 square meter per guinea pig is the absolute minimum. One square meter per pig is better. A second level doesn't add to the size as not all guinea pigs are going to use the second level and it isn't a space where they can run around without going up the ramp. Structure. Despite the general size of the cage, the cage also shouldn't be too narrow. So a really long but narrow cage might have a perfect amount of space square meter wise, but it isn't that great for multiple guinea pigs. They should be able to pass each other without touching each other. So the cage should be around 80 centimeters wide. Lots of places to hide. Guinea pigs like to sleep and rest in dark spaces. There should always be at least as many hiding spots as you have guinea pigs. Especially if your cage isn't a huge enclosure, levels or rather the space under levels are your friend. The area under level is dark and also spacious enough that multiple guinea pigs can share that space. Guinea pigs like to see each other but they don't necessarily like to sleep too close together. Since the space under a level doesn't have any walls, your guinea pigs can also flee in all directions if a more dominant guinea pig chases his herd members away. Also space to run. One of the reasons why levels are so great is the fact that in addition to multiple hiding spots, guinea pigs also need space to run around. So the cage shouldn't be full of guinea pig houses with no space between them. Tunnels are great to run through, so a tunnel can stay in the running around area. It provides safety, but also isn't in the way if your guinea pigs decide to run around in their cage. Type of hiding spots. Hiding spots should always have at least two entrances, especially if you have a boy group or your guinea pigs don't know each other that well. If a more dominant guinea pig chases another guinea pig out of the hiding spot and is sitting in front of the only exit, your guinea pigs might start fighting. The less dominant guinea pig cannot flee and the dominant guinea pig doesn't understand why the other guinea pig isn't leaving the hiding spot. If there are two entrances, this situation can be avoided. Hiding spots also shouldn't have small windows where your guinea pigs heads can get stuck in. Height of your cage. Something which I wanted to mention because I always see lots of questions in the comments is the height of our DIY cage, especially the height of the little gate. So our cage is 25 centimeters high and the door is between 13 and 15 centimeters high. And no, no guinea pig has ever jumped out of the cage or the little gate, but yes, they could. Guinea pigs can jump really high and our guinea pigs have no trouble jumping on levels or anything, so they can easily jump over the little gate, but they don't. Guinea pigs usually don't want to leave a safe space. They have a big cage, enough food and they don't have crazy fights where a guinea pig is really trying to flee or are being chased by the human. So for them, there's no reason to jump out of the cage. It's an entirely different story if you keep male and female guinea pigs separate or one guinea pig separate from another guinea pig. Or if a cage is so small that the guinea pigs don't feel comfortable in it. Or if you have a baby guinea pig which feels super comfortable and isn't scared of anything and wants to explore. But if all their needs are met, guinea pigs usually don't voluntarily jump out of their cage because they can't properly see heights and the height at the other side of the gate might easily be a few meters. So even when we introduce new guinea pigs, they never even try jumping out of the cage or that little gate. So that's the deal with our little guinea pig gate for all those wondering. I hope these tips were helpful and see you guys next time!